Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at calculations involving density of solids. We're going to be focusing on the square pyramid. In this particular situation, we're going to be given the density and some other piece of information. And we're going to be looking for what the mass um, of the uh, square pyramid is. Okay. All right, question reads, the square pyramid below models a toy block made of maple wood. Each side of the base measures 4.5 centimeters and the height of the pyramid is 10 centimeters. If the density of the maple is 0.676 grams per centimeter cube, what is the mass of the block to the nearest tenth of a gram? Okay. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to populate this diagram that we have right here with the measures that are given. All right, so uh, we can see that the height right here, this is 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees right here. Okay, we can see that the height is uh, 10 units and the side length is um, 4.5. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at the formula for the density of um, a solid in general okay so let's go ahead and write that down there's gonna be two formulas that we're gonna look at in this example so first of all is formula for density all right so density is simply mass divided by volume so the volume will change uh, the volume formula will change depending on the shape that you're the solid shape of the solid that you're given and also whatever the mass value is okay in this particular case we have a square pyramid all right so in order to find the volume we need to know what the formula for the volume of a square pyramid is so let's go ahead and write that to the volume of a square uh, pyramid is one third s squared times h okay so s is a measure of one side of the base and h is a perpendicular distance from the center of the base okay bam so that's that's all that we need so what we're gonna do first is we're going to find the volume of the pyramid since the density value depends on that and then we're going to find the ratio and then we'll set up an equation and use it to find what we need to find all right okay so let's go ahead um, and set up the expression for the volume of the pyramid square pyramid so we know that s the length of the side of a base is 4.5 centimeters and then h the height of the pyramid is 10 so the volume in this case is going to be one third s square which is 4.5 square times h which is 10 we're not going to work it out all the way okay all right so that's the volume right there and then uh the density of this solid is given the density is what 0 0.676 now what is the mass that's what we're looking for question mark okay all right so let's re reintroduce the formula density is equal to mass over volume okay um and then we're going to populate the known and unknown all right so then the knowns are the density and volume so the density is 0 0.676 equals the mass we do not know so let's just leave it as mass divided by the volume expression which is one third times 4.5 square times 10 you can work it out if you want you don't have to right now okay now to get the mass by itself we're going to multiply both sides by this number. So you can work out this number or just leave it alone. I'm just going to leave it alone. So I'm going to multiply both sides by one third times 4.5 square times 10. Okay. Multiply that on both sides. One third times 4.5 
square times 10. So what's going to happen is this divides out completely. Remember, you don't have to use this unsimplified expression. If, if it's driving you crazy, you can work it out um, and multiply with that instead, okay? All right, so to get the mass, all we're just going to do, what I was trying to do is I want to save the computation or calculator work for last. So to find the mass, all you're just going to do is evaluate this entire expression. Put this whole thing in your calculator. If you do that, you're going to get 45.63. We're asked to round it to the nearest tenth, so we're rounding it to this place right here. All right, so you look behind, um, zero to four, no more, five and up, you round up, okay? So this number three is um, zero to four, so we're just gonna truncate it right here. All right, no more, you're not gonna round up. So if we wanna round it up to the nearest 10th of a gram, it's going to be approximately 45.6 grams. That's the value of the uh, mass of this block right here. Answer is option number one. All right. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found on mathgoserve.com or the links in the description below. If you have any questions about what we just went over or a geometry concept in general, specify it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to assist. Thanks again for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye.